What's up, YouTube? This is day four. I'm excited. It's really sunny outside, so hopefully that'll last. Um, another Monday deal that I'm going to go to tonight. It's minus 11 today, so I'm a little worried about how cold it's going to be. So I will bring my Rurock today, but just in case, I'll have my secondary helmet if I want to bundle up. I am excited. I actually got extra lenses from Rurock for like low light and a night lens as well. So you guys will get to see that today. So look out for that later when I switch lenses when it gets dark. Excited for day four. As I mentioned in my last video, I will no longer be wearing ribbed socks. Got some proper snowboarding socks now from North Face. So these should be a lot better for me today. So which DC to bring today? DC Ply or the Media Blitz? I've been kind of missing the Media Blitz. Just feels like a much more solid ride, but that's what I'm going to bring today. Just look at how sunny it is. Just going to pack up my car. I'm going to head out and pick up my friend Sharon. Mark's not coming today because he couldn't, but you'll get to meet Sharon. Woo! Got my boots down there. Board. You know, it really pays to have a car that has the whole back seat fold over like that. If I'm bringing an extra person here at the back, I could just have half of the seat go down so that I can fit all our gear here minimal. Or if it's just two people, you can take up the whole back and just bring a whole bunch of extra stuff. It's pretty nice. Thanks, Lancer. Her name is Scarlett, by the way. So I got a fuel up today, too. So I've got two scoops of this whey isolate protein whole banana. I'm going to throw in that fruit cup in there as well. And I use my trusty magic bullet. Alright. Hmm. Tasty. So I just picked up my friend Sharon. Say hi. 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 And yeah, we're going to have a day trip. Well, a night trip to Blue. Hopefully the sun stays out. I hadn't seen her in what? A year. Was it a year? That's not much longer than that. But yeah, Beautiful she's a skier. Outside. New bag. Really big. Really big. See you there. Quick stop at Tim Hortons. Having a bucket. Um, I always get this. My new favorite now. It's a large French vanilla, but half of it's hot chocolate. I know it's a lot of sugar. It's not, it's not that healthy, but cold day. I need to warm up. It's delicious. No caffeine. I don't think. So we've arrived. We have. We have. It's again as last time the sun is gone. But it's still pretty bright, so. Alright guys, here I am in the lodge. Let's see a bunch of people around here. Just wanted to show you. Got my four lenses here for my Rurock. This is for super bright skies, not as bright, dim conditions, and night. So I'll be starting with this guy. You know what? Actually. It's pretty overcast right now. I think I'm just going to start it with this multi-purpose and then and I'll switch up to this later tonight. Thanks again to Rurock for hooking me up with these lenses. Just wanted to show you guys how quick and easy it is to put your lens in. You just magnet, clip on this side, clip on that side, good to go. Multi it up. My gear on, trying out this lens, it's nice and bright, good visibility so I'm happy about that. So yeah, first one. Check out the pads here. Done a lot of work. Looks like there's gonna be a competition sometime soon.
So you guys are in mitts today. Minus 11, pretty cold. Definitely want to have your fingers warm. Under this, I actually got this guy. Just in case I want to control my camera. So, oh, there we go. Sure how the visibility is going to be. They're making a lot of snow, so let's see how this goes. So, light's getting pretty flat. Hard to see. I might have to change lenses soon. Um, I'm wearing a little neck warmer this time. Hopefully it was going to block some of the cold air going underneath this mask here. It's doing a little bit, but not much. So my face is getting pretty cold. It's not too bad though. It's not like excruciating. It's not, well, it's not even that irritating. But I am finding that I'm just not getting used to the periphery vision here in these goggles doing rotations 180s or whatever like that I just feel like my landing is a bit sketchy so maybe it's just something I need to get more used to I don't know maybe I would like more of a full range of motion adding this extra piece for warmth is causing a little bit of friction around where the helmet hits oh I can even feel where the uh, the moisture is starting to solidify I get some ice underneath here but yeah hopefully you don't mind these super close ups to my face get you a nice you know perspective of this helmet right again you can't see it but i'm smiling under here it's a great day it doesn't feel too cold my fingers get a little cold as i use this though but see the boomers over there so oh all the snow ah it's like you can't see anything it's pretty scary huh that's pretty scary. I, I could barely see the chair in front of me. So. Check it out guys. Popular run here in the south. It's either Cruiser or Sunset. One of those. Cool run. I'm gonna change my lens. Got the lens here. I'm gonna change it out right here while I'm at the bottom of the lift. Clip, clip, pop it out. guy in, snap, and snap, good to go. One thing I want to mention guys is the clip here for the, for the lens, doesn't seem to want to stay locked, so that's a bit of a, a concern. Um, this one seems to be okay, it's pretty solid, but this one I feel like it's just really easy to open. I spent quite a bit of time like pushing it in so I don't want to touch it, but yeah. Just so you know, maybe, maybe I'm just not doing it right, but just FYI, careful with these clips, make sure they're all solid locked in, uh, otherwise the lens might pop out, although it is magnetic, I'm pretty sure one side plus the magnets is probably going to be solid, so it should be okay.
almost gone. Been riding pretty hard today, so it's good good practice. Not enough switch practice, but it's not bad. Time to use this guy. My food voucher for dinner. It's already 7.48 and this place closes at 9. I don't know how much more runs I can do, but hopefully a, a few more after this break. I got the pizza today. It comes with a dip. I don't know how I'm going to use all of this for one slice and a drink. But I figured this was less carbs than the, the burger and fries. She's got some stir fry over there with a pool of whatever that is removed because it was just too saucy. But yeah. Just got to back up. Uh, probably got like two or three more runs. So here we go. I'll record these. And that'll be it. Had some issues today with my goggles fogging up quite a bit. Might have been because of all the snow making and just maybe creating some moisture inside. But also I tried to just go without any lenses and then going through all the, the sprays, that really killed my eyes. So I would highly recommend you never do that. <laughs> Alright guys, enjoy the last one. Let's get out of my nose. I'm going to keep this all week. Here, so that's pretty sad. But there's the big kickers, the ones that scare me, the ones I hardly ever clear all the way. Yeah. I think it's Ontario Resorts, but Stickery Blue Mountain is the only one that tells me that I have to take one of my straps off for my backpack when I get on the lift. Like West Coast, you just keep it on you as long as you're all tight. I get it, the, the concern is that they don't want your straps getting caught up on the chair and then you get snagged on the chair and then you get brought away. But it's such a hassle. Like, I mean, as long as you know, you know, if you have a backpack, why don't they just implement a rule? You gotta chuck, make sure you're not snagged on anything. So then you don't have to always unstrap. Like, I always gotta take my gloves off, unbuckle and everything. It's just a big nuisance, you know? Anyway, there we go. Last one.
actually kind of enjoyed that one. Felt really fun. Had a nice bit of air on that 50 up on the lip. So I have to turn right. Hope you enjoyed that. That felt pretty good. But uh, yeah, you can see behind me. It's great up there. Back in the day, they used to close at 10. They would, uh, so it's like one more hour to go. But I guess this is kind of nice. I, I'm forced to leave at 9. It means I'm not as sleepy at the end of the day. And uh, the drive back is a lot easier on me. So I guess I'm thankful for that. It was a good day. Great conditions. Thanks for watching YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as always. And again, my main channel is still FJ5. <sighs> Bread hard. Some bonus footage, guys. Because I'm a nice guy. This huge bag back there. That's Sharon's. She takes a really long time to get uh, changed and ready. So I'm going to bring this back to her so it makes the trip to the car a lot easier. She's inside. Okay, we're going out through this door. All right. Sharon, how was your first day of the season? It was beautiful. Yeah? Yeah, it was great. New boots? New boots. New boots. Sharon comes in style. <laughs> this is her new boots there. Super nice. And my check out, really check out these. Cool. Check out those. Ashi. Oh yeah, and oh, and her new skis. Really proud of those. Yeah. Got we some good runs today. That. Good times, good times. We're the last ones here because, like I said, Sharon takes like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> Typical woman. I'm, oh, I'm kidding. Oh, I can't say that on YouTube. I can't say that on YouTube. That's going to be edited out anyway. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good to go? All right. We're good to go. Go for a take photo.